James Whitey Bulger will be sentenced this morning for his role in 11 murders. The Boston mobster was arrested just over two years ago in Santa Monica, California, after 16 years on the run. In court Tuesday, he faced the families of his victims, and they used words like rat, punk, and coward. I, I think he was scared. I think he was afraid to turn around and see that mass of people and all those families he affected. I think, I think, I think he was scared. I think he was scared to face up. Our legal analyst, Ricky Kleeman, has been watching the trial from the very beginning. She's at the courthouse in Boston. Ricky, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. Good morning. There were some incredibly powerful impact statements from the victims' of families. How will that affect how much time he spends in jail? Theoretically, it really shouldn't affect how much time he's going to spend in prison because under these guidelines, this judge later on this morning is going to sentence Whitey Bulger, uh, who just went by in those uh, sirens that you heard, is going to be sentenced to life, perhaps from an afterlife plus five years. The statements of the families were really a catharsis for them, and they were powerful and emotional indeed. There were moments in the courtroom as well as in the media room where people took a breath, that they cried, that they heard from people like Steve Davis, whose death of his sister Deborah was not even proven, that they couldn't find a finding that he had done it. But nonetheless, you heard Steve Davis had to be propped up by his wife as he told Whitey Bulger that he hoped that he too died like his sister, gasping for breath. Uh, Ricky, the question has always been, when will he take the stand? He didn't. Then the question is, will he appear at his sentencing? He didn't to, to make a statement. Will Whitey Bulger ever speak out on this in any way? Well, I think much to my dismay, Charlie, as you know, and to the dismay of others, I think that Whitey Bulger will not speak out. And one of the people we heard from yesterday was the son of Roger Wheeler, who was a legitimate businessman out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And when his son got up to speak, as he held a picture, held it up of his father, and wanted to hear so much from Whitey Bulger because Mr. Wheeler holds the FBI and the Department of Justice just as responsible for his father's death. Whitey Bulger refused to even look at these victims yesterday. He kept his head down even when they asked, when Teresa Bond begged him to please look at her. What about and the as money? Teresa Bond the money. The money, of course, will be out there somewhere. The question is, will they find it? They seized $822,000 out of Santa Monica. The government has moved to forfeit that. And the government will do what it will, perhaps give it to the families. That is hardly enough. They claim that there is $25 million plus out there somewhere in profits, and they will go to try to find it. All right, Ricky, thank you.